for this problem, I'll find the auxiliary equation. It'll be in the form a times m cubed plus b times m squared plus c times m plus d is equal to zero. The differential equation will be in the form a times y triple prime plus b times y double prime plus c times y prime plus d times y is equal to zero. The coefficient of y triple prime is one, so a is going to be one. The coefficient of y double prime is negative five, so b is going to be negative five. The coefficient of y prime is three, so c is going to be three. And the coefficient of y is nine, so d is going to be nine. So our auxiliary equation is going to be m cubed minus five m squared plus three m plus nine is equal to zero. We can try some values for m. I'll try m equals one. It'll be one cubed minus five times one squared plus three times one plus nine. So it's negative four plus 12, which will not work. I can try m equals negative one. It'll be negative one cubed minus five times negative one squared plus three times negative one plus nine is equal to zero. It'll be negative one minus five minus three plus nine is equal to zero. It'll be negative nine plus nine equals zero. So m equals negative one is one of the roots. This means that m plus one times some unknown is going to be equal to zero. To find this unknown, we can do long division and divide the m expression by m plus one. This will be m cubed minus five m squared plus three m plus nine. The first term will be m squared, so we'll get m cubed plus m squared. We'll subtract those. That'll be zero minus six m squared. Then we'll bring these down. It'll be plus three m plus nine. The second term will be minus six m. So it'll be minus six m squared minus six m. These will cancel. It'll be nine m plus nine. So the next term will be plus nine. Then it'll be nine m plus nine and everything will cancel. We'll have a remainder of zero. So our m expression is going to be m plus one times m squared minus six m plus nine is equal to zero. We can factor the second expression. It'll be m plus one times m minus three squared is equal to zero. So our roots are going to be m one is equal to negative one, m two is equal to three, and m three is equal to three because this first root is different from the other two. Y will be equal to C1 times E to the M1X. And because these two are the same, we're gonna do plus C2E to the M2X plus C3XE to the M3X. I'll substitute these values in. Y will be equal to C1 times E to the negative X plus C2 times E to the three X plus C3 times X times E to the 3x. And that is our final answer. If this video helped you, consider subscribing.